high or low, so um, I feel like he's gonna fit right in somewhere in the middle. But oh. these tricks were on the high end of difficulty. Is that tray flip from board? Uh, yeah, well, basically it's a, we call it a big flip. Oh. And then a little judo there. An ode to vert skating. And then this, cab, backside lip, so easy. First time I saw him skate, he was skating a, uh, a, a I don't know how to explain it, this guy created a, a wave in a mini ramp. <laughs> Did you see that, that was going around the internet? No. Uh, on social? Basically, it, it, it suddenly comes up as a wave on the flat bottom and pushes you through the flat. I haven't seen that. Kind of a novelty, but he was skating it and it looked, he made it look easy and you could tell it was not an easy thing to do. Here okay, we, we need to hear from this man, Jaime Mateo from Spain. For maniacs, you know what I mean? It, you can go fast, fly so high, <laughs> then you go so fast to the rails. I, I don't know, that park is for really maniac trainers. <laughs> There you go, Jaime Mateo calling it. This park is for maniacs, and I give it to you now. 100% this man is a maniac. The Spaniards got it all. You, you were frothing over his skating, Tony. Oh, yeah, he's exciting to watch. And, uh, and the, the way that he was speaking right there is, ex is exemplary of how he skates. Just fire, <laughs> rapid fire, and super excited, and not going to slow down. Yeah, the energy that came out, the urgency in his skating is just wonderful. And it's, are we going to see, you've got two completely different skaters. Luis Neto, banked to 73.8, I should tell you. Let's see what Jaime Mateo from Spain can do. Here we go, into the kicker. Indy three, landing a little low, but not a problem. Into the alley front side. I love that little transfer just to get speed. And then backside three over the spine. No one else is doing that. That is really risky because it's easy to land too low and to lose all your speed. Made that look so smooth as well. Nice. Step down. Oh, here's, here it is. Like I said, going through, going through all the rails. So fast. Look at that. 40 seconds to go, and he's already hit everything on the course. And now his caveman bomb drop. Into my favorite backside bonus revert. High consequence and made it look so easy. This is a solid run right here. Wow. I don't know what you would call that, an indie nose manual? What else does he have up his sleeve here? He's still in. Oh, transfer over. We call that a bug on a windshield because he just splat on the wall. <laughs> That's it. Oh, and he desperately wanted to get up on top here. <laughs> Ran out of time on that boneless bomb drop. I don't think he needed that. I don't, I don't know if that would have really upped the score that much. It would have been showy, like he's still going to do it for the crowd here. <laughs> he still wants it. It's, it's interesting. It's the first time I've seen him in the flesh. I've seen video parts from him before, but... I was questioning whether he could maintain this level of intensity Look at him. for the entire course. But He's clearing out his landing zone. This is skateboarding, though. This is what it's all about. Doesn't matter. It's not going to count. He's doing it for the crowd. He's doing it because he's hyped. And it's exactly why we do what we do. Look at that. Oh, boneless to fake. 180 boneless into a small transition. Is this the best trick on this now? <laughs> so the regular foot, a cab boneless bomb drop. Oh, no. oh, that was it. And you might not have actually noticed that before. There's a couple of little compressions and then pump bumps right in front of that transition there. And it's just spitting high me out. This trick right here, I, I think is one of the most impressive. The, just the 360 over the spine. But because when you do it over a spine, you lose the transition very quickly and uh, it's hard to get a good landing but this one lean to splat bug on a windshield 
is very tricky to keep your speed up in land properties. Okay, let's go down to Tuliyev Stigneyev, who's down with Jaime Mateo right now. Jaime, I mean, what was that? You're such a high player. I mean, what were you doing? I mean, the first one was amazing. What can you do in the second one? I don't know. I will try to do something more. Let's see. But I'm so happy with that round. People were excited. Happy about it. I mean, you were trying something pretty big up there. Are you going to do something in the second round, which is going to blow our minds even more? In the last round? That wasn't in time, so I will try to put it in time. <laughs> Let's see. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thanks to you. Hey. <laughs>